BPC. My name is Mia Boone Kemper and I'm your Children's Ministry Director. I am honored to share with you today my viewpoint on finding gratitude through God's creation. Growing up in Chico, my family's home was and still is south of town outside the city limits. We were the fifth house built on the street with most of the lots left undeveloped for years. And while I may not have had a lot of neighborhood playmates growing up, I had well over 25 empty acres to roam and wander, to investigate and to discover the beauty of the Lord's creation. During this era of my life, I wanted nothing more than to be a pioneer girl like Laura Ingalls Wilder. So whenever my parents needed me to water the garden, I would pretend to be that pioneer girl and I would gather my buckets and wade into the creek in our backyard, filling the buckets with cold flowing streams of water for the plants. Then after my chores were finished, I would grab whatever book I was reading, usually one about pioneer girls, afford the creek and climb high into a pine tree to read and enjoy the rest of my day. As I grew up, nature continued to have a huge impact on my life and today I am still happiest whenever I am outside and I am still more at peace whenever I am communing with the Lord in his creation. I look at our natural world as an expression of God's love for us and if we slow down and take time to really look around at our surroundings we can abide in his great love that he has for his people. We have the opportunity to witness God through his creation just by looking out a window or by stepping outside. And during this season of autumn, we see the leaves changing color. We feel the temperature fluctuations and we can hear the calls of the migrating geese flying south. And these are all such simple yet overwhelmingly beautiful expressions of love that God gives us daily. We just have to be aware of him. Every day we make choices and decisions, and one of the most important daily decisions we can make is to choose to be grateful for our lives, regardless of our circumstances, just like Paul in 1 Thessalonians reminds us to do. Choosing gratitude, it isn't always easy, but I know when I immerse myself in nature and I remove myself from my own inner conflicts and turmoil, I find it much easier to be grateful for what I have. Finally today, I want to share a psalm with you that I find particularly encouraging and thank-filled, and that is Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God, and it is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Take some time today. Get outside in God's creation. It will help you find gratitude in all your circumstances. Thank you and God bless.